Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Anyway, I would just like to thank you all, family, for being there with me in my time of mourning. Okay. That owl meant so much to me, as you all see. Oh, oh my God, when I did that video, I was so drained and exhausted. It was almost as if though my particular uh, animal totem died. I mean, that's how deep it was. Do you understand me? I was drained. I was exhausted. But you know what? They are with me right now. Okay? I don't know how many it was, but they are with me. But anyway, in honor of the fallen owl, I went out and I found this. I mean, it was just there. I mean, I just walked up and it was waiting on me. So I went ahead and I purchased it and I, I have it with me. Matter of fact, I will always make sure that I have some form of my fallen spirit with me. Okay? And I say my fallen spirit because it's an owl, you know. It's an owl. My totem animal is an owl and it may be more than one i don't know i haven't um recognized the other one but anyway um you all just poured out so much support i really appreciate that a lot i really do and uh the new myth thank you so much for that um recipe you know if i can find most of those ingredients i'm gonna make sure i make it but you know what for right now so i can make sure i got it and you are so on point i mean i felt it within me said you need some chocolate I know this said I don't. This says I don't. These fat on firms <laughs> say I don't. But it's an ingredient in that chocolate. I want to make sure that I taste and I get because I just woke up and I felt the need to get some chocolate. So I went out and bought some chocolate milk. Y'all forgive me, okay? But a little bit of chocolate milk won't hurt, okay? I'm <laughs> talking about these plants. But anyway, I went out and I found us. I had to have it, so I went ahead and got it because I know this is me and this is him. This, this, this is the two of us together. So I went ahead and I got this. I thought it was so cute. I mean, owls have been just coming to me left and right. It was a time when I couldn't find them. This is just going to be a rambling video, y'all. Just rambling. I just want to talk about everything. Everything that has happened since that time transpired. And I picked up these two. Look, check these out. They are eggs. They are eggs. A lot of people will get these for Easter, but I'm getting it for the Equinox. That's if I have it right, y'all. Straighten me out if I don't have it right. Don't just let me just talk about the wrong thing. and Nobody straighten me out. I'm thinking the equinox is, the pagans celebrated the equinox right at the time Christians kind of barred the religion to represent Easter. Okay, so I'm thinking that's what these are for. So I'm, I want to prepare myself for the equinox and I went and found a lot of different eggs. I got egg candles all over the place. I got I think these, I, this came with 12, a dozen. I got a dozen of these, and they smell so, so good. It smells like my mom's old Estee Lauder um, perfume. Woo, smells good. But anyway, y'all, I am just feeling so much better. You know, um, really I am because I finally figured out, oh, this is not a bad thing. This is a, this is a, this is a, a thing that is going to happen all the time, you know. We, just as sure as we come here, we, we have to leave, you know. We have to leave. Another thing that I went out and found, I found uh, Papa a pipe. I found Papa a pipe. Uh, it's been in here for like a week now. And uh, anyway, nose kind of itching a little bit. I think I'm allergic to those. Try to get them unscented, but those were scented. But I couldn't pass it up. But anyway, back to leg bucket. Y'all, I want to have a session with Legba on camera, but I don't know if he will consent to that because Leg it's not just like I can just bring him into the house. I mean, he is highly respected and he's no one to play with. But I would love to be able to sit with Legba. And um, I don't know if I could do this uh, in private. and I mean, do this uh, on camera or not. I don't know. Legba has come to visit. Um... He has not come to me with visions like he did, and um, I don't. I, I think he stopped coming because I had a little bit of concern. If you all go back to the past videos, you can see when I said I don't know if I could really trust Legba, you know, and everything. But as I go about my walk, I realized that it was just um, uh, visions that I had. Visions about a, a, a 
particular person, and this particular person um, was pretty much having some of the ailments that was uh, shown to me in the vision. And, uh, and there also are many more visions that I got uh, with Legba that I did not speak about on camera. And um, I don't know if I even have permission to talk about anything of that nature. But I just wanted to form a personal, I have a, um, I have a fellow witch out there that um, uh, has a close relationship with Legba. Uh, and she was telling me that I need to make sure that I'm having a a uh, personal relationship with Legba, a very personal relationship with Legba, and until I have that personal re relationship with him, that um, I just don't have it, you know, and I really would like to have a personal relationship with him now that I understand a little bit more, you know, because like I said, Christianity has taught me to fear everything, and it has taught me that uh, I need permission from my pastor to do anything. You know, which I'm not any uh, under any uh, pastoral uh, type leadership at this particular time, and I plan on not having any for, uh, for, for the rest of my life. You know, because um, basically what he's doing, I could do that for myself. You know, and um, I, and I can find my fellow man to do. But anyway, back to Legba. You know, since I've had this pipe here in my home, uh, Legba has smoked it. He has smoked it. I said two times he's been in here smoking it, so, you know, I smell this like applewood smelling type of, um, type of, um, odor in the air, like a pipe odor, and it smells so pleasant, and I know that's Legba, and, um, I can he actually hear him in the living room just taking a chair, sitting down, and smoking the pipe, you know, and I can hear him put his cane up against the wall and everything, so I know that he comes and he dwells. I, but I really want to work on my relationship with Papa, you know, and, um, you know, because I know there's so much that he's going to teach me, and there's so much uh, out there to learn. And um, so, basically, I'm just rambling around and just talking, but I really hope that Legba will come. Um, Monday, I will have rum for him, and I will see if it's okay for him to come and sit with us. But if he says no, it, we won't. We won't do that. So, anyway, let me see how much time I got, and I will be back in just a second.